imagine me and Paul yes. racing each other? I can. I want to see it. I'll there pay. There was $100 on the end of that race. I'll, I'd do I'll it. pay that. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's talk about baseball. The Mets, three-headed pitching monster of DeGrom, Cindergard, and Harvey are back together at camp, and they're all sporting some sick stashes. Imagine that, just with no beard. What does it all mean? They haven't really said yet. But one thing is certain. When Matt Harvey makes his Grapefruit League debut today, it's going to be his first start since July 4th of last year when he was diagnosed with thoracic outlet syndrome that ultimately led to season-ending surgery. Our Jess Mendoza sits down with the man on the mend in our Sunday conversation. than other wins and some losses are bigger than other losses so with that being said which teams suffered some crushing losses yesterday I wouldn't go quite with crush and let's advance that to today with the slot of games that we've got today what do you think is the most critical for those that are watching the bubble teams I'm going to see the power five conferences including the big ten a lot of questions are wondering how many teams from that conference will get in we'll see what happens coming up next weekend Joe Lenardi thanks man you got it racket bay was mm -hmm. he really did it as the arrogance or the persona you see on TV inside he's a humble guy with some insecurities and, and I could just tell you from feeling him firsthand right. he said they respected each other right. apprehensive to me from the street if it's fighting it's like somebody was scared that if they did something wrong they're gonna get knocked they knew out that it was gonna happen right. absolutely right? and there's usually hacky in fact we're gonna go five hole with former also you are so tickled by I that am because you know what it looked like an <laughs> and one mixtape like he Passed it, but without passing it. Shot without shooting. Harlem Ice Globetrotters. Um, Rick DiPietro is with us. Hey, Rick. Um, How are you guys doing? Yeah. He actually meant to do that, just so you guys know that. Okay. Yeah. Steven Stamkos tweeted after that game that he's been practicing that. Oh, yeah. Really? Practice. And as a goalie, you have two options. Either you take your stick and you throw it at him because he embarrassed you. Correct. Or you skate to the corner, pick up your jog strap, put your head down, and skate <laughs> Here's to the corner. what I'm saying. Up. Even if I didn't intend to do it, I would have said I did. Right, so absolutely. either way, yeah, give it up to Kucherov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I did that. So we're four days removed from NHL trade deadline, and I want you to go rapid fire and tell me how the teams did, and I want to start with the defending champ Penguins. Well, my Boston fans, from my Bruins fans, yeah. who say, hey, man, we're 8-2 and two since Claude Julien was fired. We're pretty hot ourselves. 25 points in the last 10 games for the Demon. Do they factor in your hot equation or no? They are hot right now. Let's stay with the sport. You wouldn't exactly call the Orlando City Soccer Club an MLS powerhouse. I mean, they're 21, 25, and 22 in two seasons of play. But the franchise, which has established a fan base that rivals that of more established teams, has played a large part in uplifting a city still healing from the worst mass killing in U.S. history. Recently, the team made a commitment as part of their new 25,000 seat stadium to assure the victims of Pulse nightclub will never be forgotten. 